What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on one of my knives. This is my Benchmade Bailout. Um, this is the M4 steel version. Uh, I believe it's a Cerakoted gray. We've got these green uh, aluminum scale handles, which you can see are starting to wear. Um, I believe they're just painted. Uh, so, not the biggest fan of that, but it is what it is. I wish they would have Cerakoted these to give it a little more toughness, but uh, Anyway, great knife. I've had it for probably four or five months. I carry it almost all the time. This is my main knife as of right now. Uh, I really do like the size, the thickness of it. The deep carry pocket clip uh, sits really nice in there. It's actually like a mini deep carry. Uh, you can see there, it's it's pretty short. It doesn't take up a lot of real estate. Um, the weight of it isn't super heavy, but it's enough um, you know where you don't feel like you're gonna break it or anything the uh, action on it is great you can see the uh, it just drops shut you can just kind of flick it open by pulling the lock back there is a thumb stud on each side of the blade so you can flick it open with your thumb you can spidey flick it middle finger flick it whatever you want to call it uh, just the action on it is great it's super fidgety anyway love this knife what I don't love is the end of this thing so if you look there's like a little pommel and uh, the lanyard hole and everything that's nice uh, if you're into lanyards I don't particularly have any lanyards on my knives currently I might in the future but um, one other thing is there's a glass breaker on here which utility wise great to have what is not great about that is opening and closing it when you go to close it you have to you have to pull down on this and if you're trying not to use two fingers if you're just trying to pull it down you have to push it against something and that something is your palm and as you can see there it digs in your palm a little bit and i just don't like it i don't like i wish they didn't put that on there um and that's kind of what led me to where we're at today i'm gonna re relieve that out of this scale setup and uh, make it nice and flush and to do that I went and got a hold of Rock Scale Design, which you can see their little logo there, Rock Scale Design. They make a backspacer that goes in, and you can see how much longer it is. This one right here. And well, you can't really see that, but anyway, it's a lot longer. Um, it goes to this second screw set, so it goes from there and it covers this whole gap here. If these scales are weak, that would add a lot of rigidity. These are aluminum. They don't bend a whole lot. Um, you can you can move them a little bit between the, uh, the mounts, um, but it's a pretty solid knife. So anyway, I went and ordered this up uh, a couple weeks ago and been waiting to put this on. And just got some time today to do that. So here you can see there's the new backspacer. It is titanium and I got it in a bronze uh, finish. So you can see it's nice, it's milled on the back, a little bit of texture. And so that is going to sit in there just like that. You can see how much longer it is. It's easily two or three times longer. Um, but the main thing is losing that, that back piece here. And so what I end up doing is the same company, Rockscale Design, they make a titanium screw kit. So I picked that up and that's specifically for Benchmade. So it's, I think this one actually has more screws um, than the, the knife takes. Um, I think that they do that for different pocket clip variations and different uh, handle configurations. But I got these in a bronze color as well. And then on uh, Etsy, there's a guy that goes by the name of EDC Accord, and he makes a, a ton of different stuff. Um, but what he had in particular was a thumb stud, which is this guy right here, and a pivot. Gotta say, this uh, this axi lock that they got in here with these Omega Springs, it can be a it can be quite a pain to put back together. Um, whether you do it the first time or the 10th time or 100th time, it, it can be a pain. Um, so hopefully that goes smooth and I can get this thing apart without too much hassle. All right, so let's get right into that. And to do that, I'm actually using my uh, iFixit 
uh, toolkit again. So I've got uh, a T9 and a T10 Torx. That's these guys. This thing is awesome. I love using this thing. There we have it. I think uh, I think it looks really good. I really hope the action comes back. I'm, I'm sure it will in due time. Um, you, know, you can see it's not terrible right now. It's just not as good as it was. So, um, but this uh, no pommel on the end is great. It feels so much better in hand, and it I think it looks better. I think it looks a lot better. Let's see sides there looks really good I, I was looking for a bronze clip and I just couldn't find anything that was this type of bronze I saw like antique bronze and stuff but um, it, it wasn't gonna match so that's it for now I guess uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys next time <laughs>